Hello and welcome to the room selection instructional video. During this time you're going to learn how to search for rooms, select a room, select a room for you and your mutually confirmed roommate match, and swap rooms in the event that you don't like your original room selection. The first step you're going to take is going to be looking for the room selection tab across the top of the timeline. If you don't see it, remember to scroll down until you see it. When you click on the room selection tab, it's going to take you to the main room selection page. This page is mostly information until you have a room selected. So it tells you that you're not currently assigned for this term, and it also so shows you any pertinent room rates. So our room rates will tell you how much it costs to live with us depending on what room type you choose. It will also show you the room selection instructions. So by clicking on that link, it's a step-by-step -step instructional on how to select a room, how roommates work, and on how the room selection process works overall. The first thing you're going to do is search for rooms up on the right top hand corner. The next thing is you're going to start looking for rooms based on, on where you want to live. In this case, I'm going to want to live in Hewitt Hall. So this is Hewitt. It gives me some information about Hewitt and I'm going to click on that. Again, this is going to give me more information about Hewitt Hall but it's also going to show me the type of rooms that are available. This tells me that there are no single beds available, but that there are some double beds available and there are also some quads available. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the 12th floor of Hewitt and click save and continue. At this point, I can see all the available spaces on the 12th floor of Hewitt. There's a few things to note. So Hewitt 1201, as you can see, is a little bit indented to the left. That means that this is a, a suite, and these two rooms that are a little bit indented to the right of that are the rooms within that suite. To learn more about each room, you can click on the magnifying glass. The magnifying glass will show you any information pertinent to that room. In this case, it tells you that it's a double suite. It's in suite 1201, the room number is 1203. It also tells you that this is a formal staff, firm, former staff apartment. It includes a full-size refrigerator, living and dining room, and the stove has been disabled. And it tells you if there are any occupants or anyone that's selected that room thus far. This tells you that there's two out of two spaces available in that room. And this tells you that there are two out of two spaces. The M indicates that this is a male space. In this case, I'm looking for a female space. So I'm going to pick one with two spaces, two out of two available, because I have a mutually confirmed roommate match that I have to assign. I'm going to pick 1209 and hit save and continue. Once I click save and continue, it's going to prompt me to go ahead and select my bed and my roommate's bed. Keep in mind, you have five minutes to finish this process. Let's say that I, I think about it and I say, well, you know what, I don't really want 1209. I can go back to the rooms to the floor or to the building selection and pick a different building altogether. So in this case, I do want 1209. So I'm going to pick 1209.1 and 1209.2. These are the two different beds within the room. Once I hit reserved, I will be able to, I will have those rooms reserved for myself and my roommate. Some things to keep in mind about this page is that it's going to show your reservation twice, once for August to December and once for January to May. That's because your booking is for a full year, so it's going to show your reservation for both semesters as well as your roommate match. You'll also be able to see your room rates and the room selection instructions in here. At this point, you can hit save and continue or you can room swap. Um, at this point, whether you hit save and continue or not, those rooms are reserved for you. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and continue. And it's going to take me to the complete application page. If I decide I want to room swap, all I have to do is go back to room selection and click room swap. The other way I can select a room is by clicking Hewitt again. And this time I'm, I'm going to click Hewitt 10. I've decided that even though my roommate and I are really good friends, we might be better off not living in the same room. So I'm going to pick two different rooms. I'm going to pick Hewitt 1009 and Hewitt 1010. I'm going to assign myself to 1009 and my roommate to 1010. Once I click reserve beds, that changes our reservation. 
I will only be able to see my own reservation because it's in 1009. I won't be able to see my roommates. My roommate will have to log in on her online room selection date to confirm that her reservation was made. But again, at this point, we've already got our rooms reserved. Again, I can room swap and say, you know, I actually don't want to be separated from her. What we really want is to be in Tri Towers. I can click room selection, room swap, and I'm going to go to West Campus Tri Towers right. And I'm going to pick the 10th floor. And what I want it to be is for each one of us to be in a single. So I'm going to look for a single, one out of one. I'm going to pick two single rooms, 1024 and 1025, and reserve our beds. You can room swap as many times as you would like, but now you can see our reservations. Now I'm happy with our reservations. I can see that this is a single suite. Don't forget to check those room rates. Save and continue. And I can complete my application. This has been all for today. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to call our housing office.